All right, cool, cool. So today, let's go ahead and test out the new yet unreleased PowerSoft T902 stereo single rack space amplifier. Um, now this thing's supposed to put out 4,500 watts per channel into four ohms, I believe. I don't know, I forgot to look at the specs before this video, but we're gonna test it out and see what it'll do um, and make sure this works well for our purposes. Um, so this is the unit here. Um, I've got a setup, I've got a signal generator, I've got a scope, I've got a meter here, and um, I can't think of a better thing to do with this amp right now to make sure that it works than to see how well it toasts. So, I have my cool Duali, Duelet, Duel toaster here. Um, it's a four toast toaster. Um, and I want to see if this power amp will power up the toaster. So let's go ahead and plug it in. Now this amp's going to be a little noisy. We'll hear some fan noise from it, but I'll talk over it. I'll plug this thing in, get it to juice up here. If I can, there we go. Now you should be able to see the scope here. Uh, I get a, should be able to see the, um, function generator here. So to power up this toaster, I'm going to need to recreate 120 volts, 60 cycles. So I've got 60 cycles on the uh, tone generator here. And I'll take a 60 cycle signal and I'll run it into the input. And then I'll generate 120 volts um, output, which will be measured on this multimeter here, as well as on the oscilloscope there. Now here's something interesting. Um, 120 volt wall voltage. You know, if you think about it, and most, I don't know if everybody has, but I know I got shocked by wall voltage at a young age. And um, I've been shocked by wall voltage many times. 120 volts will really bite you. Um, and, you know, I was always kind of curious, or I used to be kind of curious. It's like, okay, 120 wall voltage really gives you a zap. I mean, you know when you touch this. Yet, that's AC voltage. Now, if you touch like a car battery, a 12 volt car battery or a nine volt battery and you put your finger across it. I don't feel, unless your finger's wet or you put the nine volt to your tongue, um, you know, you can grab both terminals of a 12 volt battery and you're lucky if you feel anything. Um, and it's only, it's one tenth the voltage, right? 120 volts wall voltage, 12 volts car battery, 24 volts. You can grab 24 volts, you know, touch a power supply, it doesn't bite you. Why is it that we get so zapped by 120 volts wall voltage and we can't feel something one fifth, like 24 volts, this, uh, the voltage. And, you know, I, I think the logic of that, a lot of people out there who know electronics, or if you've actually thought about it, um, I've known about RMS versus peak voltage versus peak to peak voltage, but never really processed the fact that 120 volt wall voltage is its RMS voltage. It's peak voltage, which is from the zero line to the plus or the zero line to the minus, is one is the square root of two times more, 1.414 times that 120 volts. So that's like, uh, I don't know, 170 volts. It comes out to about 169 and change, I believe. Um, so really the peak voltage on the wall is not 120, it's 170. And the peak to peak voltage from the highest peak to the lowest peak is double that, which is 340 volts. So when you get zapped by the wall voltage, you're seeing 340 volts peak to peak. When you touch a DC car battery, it's only 12 volts ground. And it's AC versus DC, of course. But still, DC will bite you if it's at those high voltages. Um, that first peak this is going to be the same as just a single wave and it'll, 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 um, get you good. So, you know, when thinking about the volatility or the shock factor 
of wall voltage, 120 volts is misleading. It's really more 340 volts that we'd be looking at. Or in Europe, you'd be looking at 680 volts for a 240 volt um, outlet. I mean, that's getting up into the rounds off to a thousand. So, okay, so let's see if this toasts. Um, so the first thing I wanna do is oscillators on, amp is on, everything's on. So I should be able to bring this up and I see my sine wave there and I see my voltage there. We're at 25 volts, 53, 69, 95, 102, 121 volts. Now, what I forgot to mention here is the NL4 to Romex adapter that I've got running around powering this duplex outlet that I've got the toaster plugged into as well as the meter, pl pl meter probes, um, which could come in handy. I can now power numerous household appliances off of this power amp should I choose to. Okay, so now we got 120 volts. Um, now we want to see if the toaster works, but rather than fire right up, I'm going to bring the voltage down and let's go ahead and if we're going to toast, let's go ahead and actually toast. So we'll put our two pieces in here. I had to come around because I didn't know which side the, um, and I'm going to go ahead and turn the timer on. Now, while the toaster's on, I'm going to ramp up this voltage and let's see what happens. Let's see if the amp survives this because this is the test I need to do today. And we're at 27, 31, 40, 67, 85, 93, 110, 120, 124 volts, 125 volts. We're running a little hot. And, ooh, it's warm. And you know what? I'm an impatient guy. So I'm gonna actually ramp this up a little bit and see if we can get, um, might be the end of my toaster here, but let's go ahead and, oh, I hear it crackling. Okay, we're at 130 volts. We'll run a little plusy amp. Um, he's doing well here. Smells good. All right, we see our sine waves here. We can look at that and we're seeing, oh, this is 50 volts per division. So it's 100, 200, 300, and 50, 60, 70, 80, about 380 volts um, or so. We've got running into our, our toaster right now. Um, Tick tock, tick tock. Uh, let's see, what else do we got? So yeah, I mean, this is really something important. So if we do need to toast at a gig and um, we want some more control, you know, we don't have to toast at 60 Hertz. We can actually toast at a higher frequency. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring the frequency up and see what some 80 Hertz toast tastes like. Let's go to 85. I'm gonna go to uh, 90 Hertz. We'll do some 90 hertz toasting. Um, everything seems to be going well here. I don't see any smoke yet. Nice and warm. Oh, let's see what it looks like. Oh, I don't think it's quite ready yet. I didn't turn the timer up enough. Um, I wonder what 120 toast, hertz toast tastes like. We can go up higher on this. Um, Look at that. Yeah, let's go way up. Ooh. 180 hertz toast. 177. Um, this is going to be a variable frequency toast um, set that we're doing here. And it should be getting pretty close to done. Oh yeah, that's looking good. We'll give it another second or two. Um, this nice resistive load is um, getting the amp fan to run a little bit. And I think we're pretty good. So let's go ahead and shut this up and bring our toast out. Nice and golden brown. And um, I've got my... Um, 
butter here and my little rat shaped um, butter spreader of course and we'll, we'll get this stuff ready and um, we have to test and make sure this amp is really functioning well because this toast may be um, yeah just make sure we will never know for sure unless we actually uh, follow through with the test completely um, could go either way at this point Hmm. Yep. I'm going to unplug the amp. Yeah, it's a San Francisco sourdough, and it's delicious. Really good. So I can say this T902 is excellent. Oops. I can say this T902 is excellent at making toast. Um, cool. Cool. And I will do some more videos soon. Awesome. So thank you for hanging out. And I hope you found this video and others that I do interesting and informative. And check out soundtools.com. Take a look at the products that I personally designed, some solutions for the pro audio industry, uh, analog over Cat5, a bunch of testers, um, and other useful tools. Um, ratsound.com has got our sales department, rental department, install department. Uh, we sell a wide variety of pro audio and AV gear. We do installations, small to large, and we do rentals for everything as small as local clubs and backyard parties, all the way up to Coachella Festival and artists like Pearl Jam, Jack Johnson, Blink-182, and Thanks for hanging out.